Hey everybody, Ann here. And the last day before I have to go back to the grind, get back on that hamster wheel. And um, I'm just chilling. I'm tired. I'm either just tired or I'm just super, super duper relaxed. I think I'm super relaxed. So is Betty. Oh, my good girl there. And she relaxed. She looks pretty darn relaxed. That's probably because there is basically nobody else at the lake except for all the little glamper people over there. Oh, speaking of which, one lady, I'm not going to say her name, but um, we she'd come over and visits me whenever I'm out here. And, um, you know, she kind of gossips about the other people in the RVs. And, well, whenever she comes up, she insists on interacting with Betty. And Betty is crazy, okay? And this lady, she's like 70 some odd years old. And by that time, your skin starts kind of getting crepey. It's very thin, fragile. I mean, some, peop some people that age, you can just barely touch them. And, and their skin just kind of tears. Well, Betty did not jump up on her, but she did get a paw on the top of her hand. And it's actually, actually the second time she's done it. And so she just acted like it just hurt so bad and blah, blah, blah. It was a tiny, tiny scratch. And it never would have happened had she just stood back and let me put Betty on a short leash, but she was insisting on advancing and petting her. So Betty just put her paw on top of her hand and it scratched her. And so, you know, I mended her, I uh, got some um, antibiotic stuff and put a band-aid on it and whatnot. Well, she comes back the next day, you know, hi, how you doing? And she's like, oh, did you know that you have to register pit bulls in Ohio? There's a law. It's a law. Well, apparently they've been gossiping over at the RV uh, section, the glamper section, um, about pit bulls. There's multiple people who have pit bulls, and, and Betty is, she she's very, she barks and, at people that come by, um, but she's never hurt anybody. If a human approaches her, she's fine. She just doesn't like dogs. So that's why I always keep her tethered, and I know I've talked to you before about this campground and the people in it and whatnot. Um, and I told her, no, 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 no. <laughs> that law was actually overturned back in 2012. Uh, pit bulls are no longer considered a vicious breed. They only name a dog vicious if the dog does something vicious. So um, I don't know what she's talking about. You know, I mean, uh, aside from getting a, a routine license, you don't have to register a pit bull or anything special. So. They've been over there talking, and I, I almost get the feeling like they send her over just to mess with me. And, um, and then she goes on to tell me this big long story about how one of the people, one of the families in one of the RVs had a pit bull that, um, I guess, jumped out a window or, or something and rushed at somebody. I don't know. My, my arm's getting tight. I need to get a... I need to get a selfie stick or something. Um, anyhow, so she, she was saying, well, they made them leave. And this was a day after that Betty had scratched her on top of the hand. And I said, oh, oh my God, so are they going to make me leave? And they says, oh, no, no, it's, I'm sure you're fine. And um, and she goes on to say, well, I told them that your dog just likes to bark at, you know, people, but, um, and uh, is really friendly with people. I'm like, what? You told them, what are you talking to them about my pit bull? And then she goes on to say that she had told them. She had told them that uh, Betty had scratched her. So, you know what? I would have loved to have been there to witness that whole conversation, how it went down. Because, and this, this is why, one of the reasons why I don't like most humans. Because you get a bunch of them in a group, especially women. You get a bunch of women in a group, and they start talking about a subject. And then somebody will say something that causes the rest of the group to feel outraged. You know, it's like... Um, the Me Too movement. <laughs> you know, it's like all of a sudden every woman on every street corner is getting raped. Well, um, so I imagine that somebody said something about pit bulls and then la da 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 da, this pit bull, you know, jumped out a window and they made them leave. And oh, did I tell you guys that um, Anne in the van, her pit bull scratched me? Look, it was horrible. You know, and I told her, and she says, well, I only told a couple people. Okay, so she was telling them this in context, in the context of a conversation where they were talking about a family being ejected from the lake because of their dog. 
Um, and then she has to add, oh, well, um, Anne's pit bull, Betty, scratched me. Can you imagine how that conversation went down? You know, and I'm like, you, you told, why did you tell them that? And they said, she said, oh, it's no big deal. I only told a couple people. You know what? These people, they don't like me. They don't like me here. I'm, I'm like in, in a van. I'm not in a glamper. Oh, and they also talk down about other people's RVs. If it's an older RV or if it's not big enough or whatever. Oops. I just heard a fish jump. <laughs> um, oops, don't want to block the camera. Um, anyhow, so it's just like a weird little cult over there. Here, let me show you. All the people in their glampers. And the bigger and more expensive and newer, the, the RV or camper, I call them glampers because they're all like little mini mansions. Not all of them. Um, those are the ones who talk crap about the people in the older, less attractive, smaller RVs. And, you know, it just, oh, it makes me crazy. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I do not like most humans. Because... They just, they will treat you one way to your face. And then behind your back, you know, you know this woman was captured by the, the outrage of the mob when they were talking about, you know, this other family with a pit bull that rushed out the window that I, I don't even think the dog bit anybody. Um, just got excited and was barking and everybody's all in a, up in arms about it apparently so I was brought into the conversation because of Betty and that she scratched this woman who insisted on advancing when I told her hold on hold on let me put her on the short leash because when people approach I'll take her off her long lead and um, put her on a shorter one to keep her closer in so that I can go have a conversation with somebody um, she wouldn't let me do that. She kept advancing and stuck her hands out. And it's not like Betty bit her. It's just she does this little thing. She gets all excited and her paws are going and everything. And it's like... <sighs> so, yeah, she went over to the, to the other glampers, the hysterical little flock of hens over there. And I told them this big, long story about my dog, you know, scratching her. And then she tries to downplay it. And I'm like, you know what, lady? I didn't say this. I just kind of started walking away. And I will... I won't. See, this time I'm parked in a place where there's other people are likely to drive by. If I ever come back to this this lake again, it's going to be way, way, way back. Back, back, back where people aren't typically driving. And if you come approach me, well, you better be ready for a pit bull up in your face. Now, she's not going to bite you, but you need to stay back until I get control of her. And you know what? I kind of like that. I kind of like it because Betty protects me. Nobody, unless they're stupid, is going to try and come up at me with this dog. There's just no way. Because she, when she gets going, whew, she looks scary. But um, she's never hurt anybody. Uh, she never runs loose. Uh, other people in this area, this, this lake, they let their dogs run loose. And if anything's ever going to happen, it's going to be because of one of these other families that lets their dog run loose. Um, their dog comes up and to somebody else's, some other dog's space, and uh, then a problem arises, and then you know who's going to get blamed. The pit bull is going to get blamed. And you know what? There's like four or five different people out here, families, who have pit bulls, and um, then there's these people with their little mamsy pamsy. Well, I shouldn't say that, you know, because some people really love their little mamsy pamsy dogs. Me, I, I need a power breed. <laughs> um, but they just, they have a prejudice against pit bulls. So you know what? Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop having this prejudice about pit bulls because you're looking foolish. You're looking ignorant. Get the facts. Get educated on these dogs and know that they are less likely to bite you or attack you than a chihuahua. Seriously. Look it up, folks. Anyways, I'm just bitching and moaning and groaning. I think I better stop. You know, I got this one fish over here in my bucket. I finally got me a sunfish, and it's not too bad of a size of one. It's pretty fat on the underside, and I caught it with, guess what I caught it with? You can't see those. Here. Clams. Yep. That I am going to 
Well, I need I still need to gut it and then I'm gonna see if I can cook it over the fire. Just put it on a like a little marshmallow roaster thingy. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've never done that before. I did it I did that with a chicken breast the other day. I bought one chicken breast from the dollar store. It was frozen. I wanted to see if it was any good. Um, and it was frozen at the time and I forgot to put it in the cooler right away. So it completely defrosted and I thought, you know what, I have got to cook this today and I couldn't be bothered. It was the first night that I was here, so I just stuck it on the end of a little poker thingy and cooked it right over the fire. And you want to know something, guys? It was freaking amazing. So I'm going to try and do that with this fish today. So, yeah, that's uh, that's all I'm going to be bitching about. You know, I think I always kind of get irritated on the day before I have to go back to work. And, uh, yeah, there's going to be some changes coming up. Um, I don't think that I can do this job that I'm doing anymore. Um, I've been a nurse for over 26 years, and it is really, let's just say I've seen and heard it all. And I'm, I'm at the point where, whew, we'll save this for another video. Alrighty, so I'm going to go cook my fish. I'm going to have a glass, I'm going to have a glass of wine. <laughs> I'm going to have a glass of wine. And then I'm gonna, well, you know what? I might whip out the, the laptop since I got plenty of solar here um, and play some World of Warcraft or I might play some ARC on my own private server. Alrighty. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.